and on another fishing session. Um, so I'm back. I'm back at Elphix, back on Prairie, and I'm in a different swim. I couldn't tell you what number it is because there isn't one. Um, so at the beginning of the week, Chris, aka Bill, he was up here Sunday to Tuesday, I believe. And um, so I gave him a bell, he gave me the download, told me how it was fishing. I did want to get into the swim that he was in so I can pick up where he left off, but there's already someone in it. What can you do? I'm here, there has been fish topping by the island. There is plenty of fizzing going on um, right out in front of me. Um, I'm gonna show you, let me, let, me, let me show you what's going on. This is me. This is what we're looking at. A little bit of fizzing going on out there. So I'm tied up against that island there and I've got one out in the middle ish here because I see um, another one top there. So they're topping all in this general area. So that's what we like. Um, I kind of just flung them out there so we can see how it goes. I'm just trying to size up everything at the moment, but we're looking good. So there it is. That is it for now. Um, I'll let you go. I'll let you know on progress, obviously. Um, baits, rigs, all the kind of stuff that you'd like to know. Yeah, that is it for now. So stay tuned. Hopefully, we get ourselves a carp on the bank. We seem to be into one. Right hand rod off the island. Sluggish, it feels really sluggish. Yes, it's in the net. Um, right, um, let's get this in the sling and um, see what she looks like and we'll give her away, shall we? Yes, we're off the mark. Ooh. So here we go, folks. We have a little butte. Um, Not happy. <laughs> Not happy in the slightest. That is a chunk. Right, let's give her the way. Give her wings down first. That's it. sling has been taken off. Just make sure the fins all not bent. in a froth that is just over 29 pounds oh I thought it was gonna hit 30 
on to it, it looked 30. It felt when I picked it up out of the water, it felt 30. But it's quite the foam. There we have it. 29 pound, just over 29 pound. Um, caught on a little combi, combi D rig that I made, and um, the bait of choice is um, dung bell um, peanut and tiger nut from a company called Fish and Bass. I don't know if they're still about because I've um, I've had the pot for a while now, but wow. Look at that, very happy with that. Just over 29 pound off the, um, off the island. Beautiful. Oh, one more look oh, and we'll put her back. There we have it. What a nice fish to kick off my session. I'm happy with that. Um, also, if you're new to the channel, go and hit that subscribe button, go and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on seeing or missing out on any more of these beauts. And um, if you fancy it, leave us a comment and um, um, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the vlog. Alright, for now, let's put her back in. Angry little one. Angry little cop, this one. She is. Thank you very much for gracing my net. Off you go. Off you go. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. So I thought I'd run through the rig that I was using. So this is it. So what we got? We got 20 pound IQ main line and I've tied that on to um, to the end trap soft and I tied that on with an all bright knot. So that's the combination part of it. So you get that nice flexibility and and um, you know it kind of looks natural and it you know it can swing around in the gob and catch hold and that's on a size 6 curved shank with a size medium kicker and on there we have the ring swivel it's really dark and dingy isn't it and a micro um, ring swivel which is just holding it there so that that's what's done me the business um, I'll put some a bit of tungsten putty around the, the um, all bright knot and um, yeah 20 no, just over 29 pound of mirror Elphix mirror that is beautiful get on it Right, the sun's up. The plan of action for today is it's going to be a nice day, so I might try and see if I can sneak a couple off the top if the goals let me. Um, right pain, isn't they? Um, so, this morning, there must have been about eight anglers turned up. They've all gone down that bank there and one over there. And there's no one on this side but me. So I'm hoping that will work in my favour. I'm hoping all the lines out over that side will push all the carp over here. And um, hopefully I'll snag a few. So my right hand rod, this is the other thing I'm going to do, my right hand rod. I'm going to get the lead out and I'm going to try and get close and personal as I can to the island. 
I'm going to get the lead out, I'm going to cast it until pretty much here, get my wraps sorted out, because I've already done that one with the right hand rod, the main left hand rod, and I need to do that with the right one. The sun is rising, and by the looks of things, it's starting to hit the island, so I'm hoping that they might go in there and have a little warm up session. Mate, I've had three coffees, and it's only like quarter to eight, and I'm buzzing. I've got the shakes. Stop drinking coffee. Anyway, that is the plan for this morning. So I'm going to crack on with that and um, hopefully we'll see you um, with a carp on the bank. Because I've, I've got a good feeling today. All kinds of carp, good feeling. All kinds. to another one. There's um wait I just saw a fish top over the top of this one. in the net all kinds of carnage line messed up everywhere um right try and sort all this out and then um we'll take a look at the um common shall we Ooh, we have a stunning little mirror here um we we'll go for the way, I think. My lines are in shambles right now. That looks like an hour job right there. But hey, this is a stunning common, and it'd be um, not massive, but it's mint. Eighteen pound and fifteen ounces. There we go. Eighteen pound, fifteen ounces. Um, like I told you this morning, I changed the right hand rod with the bait that I caught on the left hand rod. The um, peanut butter and tiger nut fish and blend dumbbell wafter and um, um, carp number two and a lovely stunning common it's mint it looks mint um, one for the future I reckon but um yeah I'm chuffed so we'll put her back and um, sort out the mess that is my lines oh just look at it oh and um Get them sorted, get them both back out on the spot now and um, see if we can get another one. Lovely jubbly. Off she goes. Oh, 
Yes. Oh, right. Let's sort this crap out. <laughs> right. So um, the rods are back out on the spot. The um, line wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Pretty quick job to be fair. But I thought I'd run for you, throw you my hook bait of choice. This is what I've been using. Oh, dumbbell shape, size 14. And I've been making up a mesh bag for that. So I've done three layers. So the, on the bottom, I'm using six mil de krill from Sticky Baits. And I'm putting in there four 15 mil manila from um, also from Sticky Baits. And then on top, I'm using eight mil marine halibut pellets. And I'm soaking them, not soaking them, but I'm, I'm topping that up with a bit of isotonic goo. Quite a bit of flavour bomb. Catching me the carp. All kinds. Right, that is it. It's the end of the session and I've just got back home. I'm absolutely shattered because last night I had an obscene amount of liners. <clears throat> so I didn't get much sleep. Um, but all in all, it was a cracking little session. I had two. Now I'm going to play another nice chunk. The M29 pound mirror. Happy with that. Happy with that. So overall, it wasn't a bad little 48 hours, and I didn't blank. So no complaints here. Right, um, a milestone. We are trying to get to 4,000 subs, and only you guys that all haven't already subscribed can do that for us. Um, so please, if you're new to the channel, please go and hit that subscribe button. Um, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more uploads. Leave us a thumbs up and if you fancy it, drop us a comment and tell us your thoughts about the channel. If you're already part of the Wet Lidens family, much love from me. Really appreciate your support and hanging around. Yeah, sticking with us. So that is it for me. Um, I'm off, gonna get, get a coffee I think and um, go and see the other half and the little fur baby as well. So remember, keep those lines wet. Chua. Sure